Blog Talk Radio. To weekly window talk with Sammy the Window Girl. Today we are talking about the grid patterns, grid styles, and what is in for like what's the newest styles? What's the latest and the greatest? What should I do? I'm replacing my windows and I think I want to change my grid pattern. This is what we're going to talk about today. And my name is Sammy. The name of my company is Buy From Sammy. I'm 31 years in the window industry. Yay! I um, run my own business, and I am a wholesale window distribution company. So if you are a remodeler, window installer, real estate investor, house flipper, Anything that has to do with windows or patio doors, call me. I do uh, commercial work as well. Um, My locations are east of the Mississippi, and I do consulting work on what's west of the Mississippi because, really, we are divided by the Mississippi River, and the climates are different in a bunch of different states. So a window that you need for Florida as far as like an impact window, a hurricane impact window, or a hurricane resistant window, you wouldn't use in Colorado. You know, a window in Colorado that needs breather tubes, you would not use in New York City. So it really just depends on what type of application you are you know, working with will dictate window you need for that type. So if you need help, you can go ahead and give me a call. My office hours are Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. I am based out of Chicago, Illinois. I can be reached at area code 630-487-8312. That's 630-487-8312. My website is buyfromsammy.com. My email is buyfromsammy at yahoo.com. So B-U-I-F-R-O-M-S-A-M-M-Y at yahoo.com. If you want to email me show topics or if you have questions about um, window types or if you want to set up, uh, you know, a dealership program with me, it's free to do so. You do have to be in the trade in order to purchase from my company. I am not open to the public. If you are a homeowner and you want one of my products, you can still contact me, and I will put you with somebody in your area um, because I do offer free contractor leads for the uh, my window installers who currently purchase my products. Um, okay, so that's a little bit of the housekeeping we got out of the way. Let's get started on the grid styles. Oh, and you can also, if you want to, you can find me on Facebook under Sammy Gotti Nelson or buy from Sammy or Sammy Windows, and I'm also on LinkedIn. Um, And you can download these podcasts because they are, you know, archived and they're available. You can also say, hey, Alexa, play Weekly Window Talk with Sammy the Window Girl. I know there's some franchise companies that use my podcasts for training, and a lot of my dealers pass them out to their homeowners um, to answer questions about, you know, choosing windows and things like that. Okay. So let's get to in your windows and you're, you're deciding if you want to keep the same grid pattern. So um, grids or mutton bars, they call them, or grills, uh, GBG, grids between the glass, um, or simulated divided light, those are grids that are on the outside of the glass. You do have a a mutton bar in between the glass, but a simulated divided light is a mutton bar or grid that are on the inside. So let's just say, um, for example, right now I'm doing a historical project and the home is dictating that they have to have wood on the inside and vinyl on the outside. So that right there is my composite wood window. My composite wood window is the strongest window available on the market today. I exclusively sell this window. 
And for my architectural projects, my historical districts, it's a winner. I'm telling you, it's, this window is stronger than wood. But in this particular application, the um, windows that the style of windows that were there, they're no longer available in the marketplace today. Nobody can make them, and she can, the homeowner can change into whatever it is that she wants to change into, as long as she has real wood on the inside. So my composite window is a solid vinyl window. And again, it is solid in the, through the core. It is a acrylic polymer that is filled inside the insulating chambers with a super cap over it. And then we laminate um, and the inside with real pine. So with that, you know, let's just say she had um, a double hung window with colonial style grids. Colonial style grids are very common up in the East Coast, especially in the New England area, um, certain parts of Ohio, Washington, D.C., and Baltimore, Maryland love colonial grids and especially the flat ones and the thing is is it is the style it or was the style very common uh back you know probably like in the 80s i mean it was always a common grid pattern it's just the ones that are squares in between the glass but we're kind of getting away from that now with the new generations um, you know, the new money in the marketplace, the new money with the with the real estate investors, here comes new styles, okay? So we're, we're, what I'm getting at is, is that you can open up the, the window as far as the light coming in and the design pattern. What they're doing now, the younger investors, they, they're choosing a pattern called a window perimeter or sash perimeter. Sometimes it's called prairie or double prairie. And if you go on my website, um, if you go on my website, you'll be able to see the different patterns of what I'm talking about. But a sash perimeter or window perimeter is a design feature in the window. So you do have an outlining of the window pane and it looks great. And one of the benefits to that it creates almost like a um, a shadow box, right? So it's almost like a shadow box and a design element that draws you into the it. It draws you in when you're walking by and you see this type of grid pattern. But at the same token, it doesn't block your view. So one of the things is is yes, you know. Grid patterns can be very decorative. There's also like the diamond grids. Those were pretty pretty popular uh, I want to say it was mm, late 80s early 90s and I still love them like when I'm driving through neighborhoods and I see somebody with like a, a bow window and they have the diamond grid pattern in between the glass I love it I just think it's beautiful um, that is my opinion Some, someone else may not like that but my point is is the newer generations because there's always going to be new generations we're evolving evolving are choosing or opting for a minimalist look so this is what the trend is going towards the uh, latest grid patterns in the windows and the reason why I do support that like I said when you're looking out your window you don't have an obstruction of view I feel like a lot of times when I'm walking up to a house and I see these colonial grids it basically makes a statement to kind of like back off. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it gives like a protection over the home. Basically, you know, that's what I feel like. Uh, it just depends. You know, again, everybody's different. Everybody has a different style. Everybody has a different taste. But I want to urge people that if you're doing window replacement, you don't have to just go ahead and replace exactly what you had before. You're not limited to the options that somebody else chose who lived in that house before you, you know, and utilize your options. Utilize your options if, like, you were having – if you had a slider window, and let's say you want to try a casement window, you know, 
remember, you're the homeowner, you're the person that's the investor, you're the one that gets to make the decisions, and the styles and the trends are changing when it comes to grid patterns. And I'm happy about that because you're not limited to any particular style, right? So I want to urge everybody to check out what options are available when you're talking about grids. You know, maybe you choose not to have grids in the next home. I don't know. I kind of like the design element, like I said. I, I love the way that the sash perimeter, the difference between a sash perimeter and a window perimeter is that a sash is the part of the glass on the window that goes into the frame. So like on a double hung window, you'll have a top sash and a bottom sash. So in that situation, sash perimeter would be the outline of the top sash and the outline of the bottom sash. Window perimeter is when you're just outlining the entire window. So you're using both sashes to create like that square. It really depends. Like I do that a lot in picture windows. Um, but it, it just depends, again, on the style of the home, what your curb appeal is, what exactly it is that, you know, what kind of look you want to pull off. The other thing, too, that people are doing, you know, the black windows are huge. We get a lot of calls for the black windows. And with the black windows, what they're doing is they're only putting the the grid, the mutton bars, the grills, things like that, in the top sash. And it's just like vertical. They'll be like, or they'll do one vertical on the top sash, one vertical on the bottom sash, or just three vertical, you know, on the top sash. It's completely different when you're talking about the darker colored windows too. So don't be afraid to experiment. And your window professional should be able to provide you with pictures of your grid pattern so you can get an idea of what it is going to look like as far as an effect in, you know, when you're walking up to the home or if you're, whatever it is that you're trying to go for, whatever the curb appeal is, uh, you want to make your windows uh, as attractive as possible because that does play a part in the resale value. Obviously, you have to live in the house, so it is your choice. But in the same token, you want to be able to work with certain design elements. So, um this has been Weekly Window Talk with Sammy the Window Girl. I encourage anybody who wants to uh, send me some information or feedback on show topics, I'll be here next week with a, another podcast. Until then, I'm wishing everybody a great week, and we'll talk again soon.